Yet again, a great performance from Kanye and Kendrick Lamar. So we got the finished product. And if you couldn't tell, um, the song actually was done over because the original clip at the end was from 2010. If you listen to the voice of Kanye, you definitely can hear um, the difference in it. And the finished product is always better, but Kanye always told people, don't listen to the product before it's finished. You got to listen to the finished product. And that shit is dope, man. Like, Kendrick Lamar did his thing. That verse ended up being something uh, where I know a lot of fans of him couldn't appreciate it because I know how they feel about, you know, him rapping, you know, similar to the way he rapped on, you know, songs like that where it's just right, you know, there. It's not really something where you have to figure out what he's saying. It's not as complex, you know what I mean? He said a lot of different things introspective-wise and broke down, you know, the nightlife, the party scene of L.A., females, how, you know, they go from somewhere to go to L.A. to basically try to come up off, you know, a ball player, rapper, entertainer, actor, whatever the case may be. And I thought that was really dope of him to break that down. Not saying that we didn't already understand with certain women like that. Like you have, as referenced in a song, Instagram, how, you know, pussy sales on Instagram, which is amazing that that is actually a thing where um, women have become relevant by a social media app by just selling sex in a way. You know what I mean? Not you know, actual sex, but you get what he's saying in the song. And I was like, okay, that, that was incredible. But I was expecting kind of, you know, I thought it was going to be the back and forth that they was going to do. And I thought when I didn't get that, I was like, okay, that this is different. You know, Kanye rap a couple bars and it goes right into the Kendrick verse and then Kendrick rap. And then I'm like, okay, Ye comes in and he finished the song. Like that shit was incredible. And the ending of the record was pretty dope where they threw the sample in and, you know, added the round of applause to, at the end of the record. And I was like, okay, cool. It's a good song. Let's not get that fucked up. But I thought it would have been more of a, it's a Kendrick feature, but I was just hoping that they could have did, you know what I mean, the back and forth. I think that would have been kind of an ill type song. But, you know, going into Kanye verse, you know, he basically talked about everything. But before I get into that, um, Kim had let us know that, you know, she spoke too soon on the Good Fridays. And we didn't end up getting a good Fridays, but said Ye was flying to wherever he was going, but he was writing 90 bars, and we definitely got them bars, you know what I mean? I think he got everything off his chest. He even threw a shout at his cousin again after the stole the laptop. I thought that was pretty uh, funny. And he talked about everything. I got, like, written, written down a couple of little joints right here. You know, he basically talked about the perspective of, I guess, L.A. party scene before he was famous. You know, he talked about that. Then he talked about it as it, when he did get, you know, fame. Or how he said, like, the host reference to Steve Jobs. I like that bar, how he did that. Um, but, yeah, his life once the fame hit. Um, he talked about dealing with rumors and gossip and everything that you hear about me is true. You know, um, and why he really wasn't doing music. Why he really wasn't inspired to do music. And we understand that because when he talked about it in graduation about Lauren Hill like when she basically retired or whatever he wasn't really inspired and you know he noted that Andre 3000 is another notion of why he kind of fell back from the music um talked about his family his friends you know um one line in particular he was like I'd be worried about my daughter I'd be worried about Kim but saying his baby yay I ain't worried about him I thought that was pretty dope and he talked about how uh shout out to Eat Network you know because they basically making a lot of money you know um then the most introspective part of him is when he talked about his personality, you know what I mean? A 30 year old, eight year old, with rich nigga problems, you know? And I was like, wow, okay. So he kind of flipped that. Remember back in the day uh, when he did, what was that? I forget the name of the song, but he was just like, um, basically I'm a grown up, but can throw a uh, tantrum like a two year old, you know? So yeah, it's still yeah, you know, shout out to him cause he's goddamn Gemini and I, I love every time he talk about shit like that, you know. Um, but he basically also talked about fans doubting him. And when I heard that line, I literally dropped my phone and started rolling because everybody that's been hating on him since 808s and Heartbreak, Jesus, you know, like, oh, he fell off and he's this. Yeah, he can never get back to that. It shows that he been looking at everybody when fans be on these blogs and all the critics that are saying he fell off. He basically just slapped the shit out of y'all and let y'all know, like, hmm, do y'all feel stupid now? Y'all thought that I fucking fell off and I didn't fall off. You know what I mean? So 
and just let MCs know that, you know, Ye is back, you know what I mean? He had got writer's block, but now, shit, his pen and his pad is working, you know, as you can tell. But a lot of people say, oh, this is not lyrical Kanye, it's not social conscious how he used to rap. You're going to have people like that. But like I said, you can just tell Ye is in a good space where he's having fun, you know what I mean? Yes, this is not on the level of anything from college dropout, you know, late registration, graduation. But like I said, he's not going back to that. You got to understand, Ye is, is now, he's rapping about now. How many artists you know right now that's an artist besides the notable J. Cole, Kendricks, um, Wale's, um, anybody else like that, but basically that can actually rap their life now. Not what they used to do, not shit that they not doing now. Like, Ye has always been good at that. Um, I think he learned that from Hov, in my personal opinion, because when Hov switched it up and started rapping about, you know, um, his life now, even 50 Cent noted to that, like, yo, I may not like to do it or whatever, but he's good at rapping what he's living like now. Like, you don't want him to be talking about when he was in Marcy or doing this because that's not him. Like, he, he's not doing that. He's talking about now, and I think a lot of people got to adapt to that. So I was actually glad that Ye actually talked about that and spoke on that about the fans and everything and let them know, like, y'all thought I couldn't do this. Y'all bugging, you know what I mean? He just been focusing on other things, and that's a good thing, you know? And he just talked about everything that he needs to get off his chest, you know what I mean? So I think this song is pretty dope, but I knew it would be. You know, it's nothing bad. You got the smooth beat. You know, you definitely can hear that sample even clearer. The hook is crazy. You know, it's just a good song. You know what I mean? He had this, um, the Fringe joint, you know, and then Facts. I still feel he should throw Facts on there, but I definitely fuck with this song. You know, it's, I never doubted Ye. So that's the part about when you a fan of somebody, you stick by them, and you see them come full force and deliver, it makes you feel good as a fan of them. Because you got the people that's naysaying and say, ah, I don't really care about that. And then as soon as they do some dope shit, they back like, oh, yeah, he's, yeah, he killed it. But you wasn't saying that about this. You wasn't saying that about this. You feel me? It's like when you're a fan of somebody, I believe you like, you know what I mean? You don't have to like everything because then that makes you kind of a, a hype beast. But it's just like you support it because you understand, like you get it. So now if you go back and listen to 808s and Heartbreak and go back and listen to Yeezus, I think y'all be updated and understand like, okay, that was a part of his life. Like, I get it. You know what I mean? Y'all just going by the sound of the production and y'all not looking at the content. Kanye, ever since his first interview that I saw, he said, it's the message, the content that I need people to understand. You know, don't sit here and think that it's just about, oh, I'm a soul sample producer and that's all I can do. It's a message. Like, you know, when I'm not here, I want shit to be left to where you will, it, it'll be a message. And even if it's 10 years, 20 years down the line, you know what I mean, you are still look back and be like, okay, now I understand. Because some people are not going to get everything you do. It takes time to get that. But I think if people really go back and just study his body of work, they'll get it. But this is a step in a good direction. You know, I'm still mad that this bitch Kim said we're going to get Good Fridays. And we didn't get Good Fridays, but it was a goddamn good Monday. You know what I mean? Happy birthday. MLK was yesterday, so now you're getting this Tuesday. So that's why I know y'all like, why you didn't drop it yesterday? Because I just wanted to chill, you know what I mean? And watch a couple of MLK documentaries, but this is my thoughts on the song. Sorry the video is so lengthy, but that's the whole point of calling it a discussion. It's no review, it's a discussion on it. And yeah, what did y'all think about Kendrick verse? What did y'all think about Ye? He still, the funny part is he's still at the end of the song. He must really be mad at his cousin for stealing that laptop, bro. Cause he was like, like God, that shit was just hilarious. You know what I mean? So whoever that is out there, you Ye cousin, you a fool for stealing this laptop. But he giving you mad publicity, though. Don't show your face, though. One.